Yo, what's up bros, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. So this Red Dead Online video is just a re-upload because I just wanted to re-upload this item duplication glitch just in case it does get patched this week guys with like a new update or something like that. But if you did go ahead and like that item duplication glitch then go ahead and drop a like on the video. If you dislike it, drop a dislike on the video. If you're not a sub to my channel, hit that sub button. I'm going to let the video play out now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yo, what's up bros, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Before we get any further into the video, I just want to ask you guys if you can please smack that like button because it definitely does help the video and this definitely is a good one. And if you're new to the channel, then please hit that sub button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos or live streams in the future. But what we have for you in this video today is a unlimited items glitch. So yes, you will be able to get unlimited items with this. So anything from literally a bread roll to a can of beans or just a carrot sitting on a table. And yes, you can duplicate the Madame Nazar collectibles with this as well. As far as I know, you can do all of them, guys, the bottles, the cards and the coins. You can do absolutely all of them. So what we want to do to get started with this glitch, guys, is you're going to need to come to the area where you're duplicating the item. So for me, I'm duplicating a coin in tumbleweed once we get in tumbleweed we want to go to story once we click on story we're going to go down to exit game now we only need to do this one time like every time before we start duplicating a different collectible we need to exit game and then once we exit game you just want to go back into a free roam so this will load you in pretty much exactly where you just exited the game okay so as you see we're in tumbleweed so that's perfect now we have our location saved at tumbleweed so every time we do this glitch we will spawn in tumbleweed the next thing we need to do bros is we need to interact with something first like a cupboard or a tin so we're going to go ahead and open this tin and then we're simply just going to close the tin After we've interacted with something, like open the tin or open the cupboard and close the cupboard, you guys are going to run over to the coin that you're duplicating. Once you bros get to the coin, you want to set up your quick menu so you can close application as quick as possible. And then just back out of that. Now you want to dig the coin. Now as soon as you guys dig the coin, you're going to see an alert come up on the right. As soon as you guys do see that alert, and it didn't come up because I, I saved the clip too early, but you guys will see an alert. As soon as you see that alert, you want to close your application, and then start Red Dead back up. You want to hold in L1 and R1 on this screen here, and keep holding in L1 and R1 until the writing comes up. So you can either do this guys or you can go into your settings and go to your storage and you can delete your game saves to clear your catch or you can just hold in L1 and R1 when you start the game up to clear your catch and you guys should be on this screen here if you are then you're doing everything right so far just hit X to play online. So it's a really simple glitch dudes once you guys load in online pretty easy I'm just gonna head back to the coin and show you guys that it's still there so the coin is still here so obviously I'm gonna show you that we did collect the coin so there's a half penny so now to rinse and repeat this guys what you need to do is head back over to the saloon or if you can find something closer then that's great because what you need to do is before we dig this coin up again we just need to interact with something again so we're gonna go find a cupboard or or a box or a tin or something something that we can open and then close all right and then once we find something we can open and then close we're going to head straight back to the coin and repeat the same process to get another coin so that's how you guys do the coins so now i'm going to show you guys how we can do the bottles it's pretty much exactly the same thing when you guys get into the area where the bottle is so I'm duplicating the Caribbean rum. So I'm out here at Chola Springs and the Caribbean rum is out here at the moment, right at this little stranger mission right here. And there's a house nearby, which I'm at. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to use this house obviously to interact with something first and then after we interact with something we're going to go and duplicate the bottle. But first things first, because we just got here, we haven't saved our spawn location yet. So what you guys want to do is go to story and go to exit game again. Then once you guys get back at the main menu, you bros just simply want to select free roam to load back in. So this is the easiest and probably the best glitch out right now guys. So definitely take advantage of it. Like I said, it is an unlimited items glitch pretty much. You can literally duplicate anything with this glitch. So once you guys load back in, you're just going to walk into this little house here. If you're duplicating the rum bottle out near where I am, you're going to open the cabinet. As soon as you bros open the cabinet, you're going to close the cabinet. So now we've interacted with something. So what we're going to do is we're going to ride over to the bottle. So that part is very important, guys. You definitely need to do that part. So once we ride over to the bottle, same principles as before, guys. We're going to set up our quick menu so we can quickly close the application. 